Hey guys, we're back with some more Vancouver Canucks GM mode, and I hope my mic is better at this point, uh, because I've been uh, playing with the settings a bit, and uh, I just boosted my uh, commentary levels up all the way, so hopefully uh, hopefully this is a lot louder for you guys, and uh, hopefully you can all enjoy it. Um, and I'm, I'm, really, <laughs> I'm really hoping that there's no uh, static of any sort, because I noticed when I put the mic sort of close to my mouth, which is uh, what I needed to do before in order for the mic to even hear me. Um, it sort of made a little of a sparking sound. But anyways, 25-19-1, uh, uh, I think uh, we were on a streak, weren't we? So I don't think I want to touch any lines, but yeah, that, that trade for Nichushkin, he's, it's, uh, it's really paying off. Look at his uh, look at his points. That's uh, that's pretty good there. Uh, and I actually before I started recording this, I just realized we have uh, Bo Horvat, who was chosen ninth overall in 2013, and Valerian Nijushkin, who was chosen tenth overall in 2013. So that's uh, just a fun fact there. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, let's I guess. Uh, Simulate six more weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. All the way up to the trade deadline. And, uh, yep. So, uh, NHL preseason underway. Uh, it's, uh, obviously, uh, not, uh, too intense of the games, but, uh, you know, that you get to see all the, uh, the, the rookies and, uh, you know, everyone who's fighting for a spot in the NHL. So, Actually, you could say it's it's a little uh, more intense than you think, uh, but once you know all the rosters fill out, then it just starts uh, getting a little boring <laughs> towards the end of preseason there. Uh, but um, yeah, I think it's gonna be interesting uh, just to see what happens this season with all the moves that have been going on. You know, it's it's interesting every uh, start of the season. Uh, just to see uh, how different teams will gel and, you know, uh, if uh, the trades that each team made paid off. Um, but, yeah, so can't wait for the regular season to get started, though. That's going uh, to be exciting. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to go see any games this year. Um, mainly because I'm on a budget, but, uh, I also want to see how the Devils, uh, how the Devils do for the first part of the, uh, the season there. I was, uh, I was planning on getting tickets against Anaheim, uh, since they're my second favorite team, but, uh, <laughs> Anaheim's pretty good, so, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if I want to see that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, look, look at here, uh, we're, uh, 33, 21, and 2, and we haven't made any changes so far, so that's, it, we're looking a lot better than last year, obviously. Uh, it looks like if we keep up this pace, we're going to make the playoffs, so I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm, de I'm definitely happy with it compared to last year. Um, so Sutter's leading our team with 20 goals. That's nice. He's on the first line. Well, Nichushkin, he's tied with Nichushkin and all, probably. Um, yeah, they're uh, probably going back and forth. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, that's good that we have uh, Hank Sedin up there with uh, Nichushkin and Sutter. So I guess the, uh, that uh, Sutter and Nichushkin... Yeah, because that makes sense, too, because uh, Sedin has almost 40 assists, and then Nichushkin and Sutter, they have 20 goals each. So that's actually... Uh, that actually... Uh, that sounds pretty realistic. Uh, at least... Uh, for right now, uh, where we are as a team, uh, you know, I'd like for Natushkin to have a, a lot more goals, but I think he had quite a few assists as well, so I, I'd imagine he's up there probably in like the 60 point range by now, so, you know, if, if he's up there, then that's, that's, or, or at least the uh, later 50s, if he's up there, I'm fine, uh, I, as long as he's doing something, uh, what were we scouting again? Oh, jeez, it's been a while. It's been like four or five days since I last recorded this. Um, and that's not counting, like, the upload uh, from a couple days ago and the day before that. that those were uh, those were all uh, recorded from last week. Uh, 
I mean, uh, you know, I'm a college student. I gotta, I gotta budget my time a bit. <laughs> so, uh, and I actually have off uh, more often than I'm at school. I have off Sunday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So, and uh, today's Saturday afternoon. So I have a, uh, I have a while. But uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get to the scouting here. Uh, geez, what were we scouting? I, I really don't remember. Was it defenseman? I feel like it was defenseman. We're we're kind of short there because we have four prospects now. Yeah, we'll go for WHL. I don't know why I spent so much time on that. But uh, anyway, let's check out the stats real quick. Player stats for the NHL. Man, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to take this game. I, I'm seriously... I've been contemplating buying a... Uh, Xbox One for like the past a uh, while, but uh, even more so now that NHL 16 is out. Um, okay, so Nijushkin has 50 points. That's not bad. I, yeah, he already he already has more points than he did last year, so that's saying that something. He's improving. He's improving. He's definitely uh, getting better, and the good thing about this is, is if he gets up to like a 90 by chance, uh, we still have him for the next, after this, we still have him for the next four years at 3.5 uh, million, so uh, th I th that's a very good contract. Um, I kind of wish the Sedin twins had uh, team-friendly contracts, obviously, but um, at least they're only two years left, so uh, I mean, I can deal with that. It's not going to hinder us too much, or it shouldn't anyway. Uh, so Sutter, he's more of a goal scorer now, it looks like, and Lind Hampus Lindholm, he's got 39 points, very nice. Uh, another great contract right there. If he jumps up to like 90 overall or even higher, uh, that'd be uh, that's a very good contract. Although we're gonna have to pay him like 10 million dollars when <laughs> when that contract's up if he uh, gets up to like a 92. Uh, Bo Horvat, uh, not bad. Berchi, I'd like you to be doing a bit better, especially on the second line. But um, he's only 82 overall, so I guess you can't really expect too much. Uh, Let's check out goaltenders. Uh, Ryan Miller, he's doing his job. Anti Ranto. What is it with backup goalies uh, for us? I mean, okay. Markstrom, <laughs> and then now Ranta. Aye. Not, uh, <laughs> not a good spot there for backup goaltenders in, uh, in Vancouver. Let's check out the team stats real quick. Uh, goals for per game, 26. That needs to change. Goals against per game, 11. That's not too bad. Uh, power play, that needs to change, 18%. Penalty kill, that needs to change, 79.2. Okay, we, uh, so, we still kind of have some work to do. I mean, I don't know who I would trade, though. We're, I guess I could, maybe Berchi, I don't know. I kind of want to give him a chance, though. This is his first full year in the NHL with us. Uh, I feel like I should trade Burroughs. Yeah, we need... We need a very solid penalty killer. I mean, he's a solid penalty killer, don't get me wrong, but his passing is kind of down there, and I know that doesn't have to do with the penalty kill much, but I... We sort of need power play as well. I, I'd like to get someone strictly for a power play and someone strictly for a penalty kill. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't really have that stud for the penalty kill that has like 90s across the board as far as forwards go. I mean, the closest we have to that is Brandon Sutter uh, by the looks of it, yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, I don't know what to do. I, again, I'm not going to trade the city in twins. Uh, defense, I think we're fine on defense, personally. I, I, I think something needs to happen at forward. Uh, like, maybe Kennan's <sighs> Yeah, I don't see him. I mean, his physical category is great. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking Burroughs needs to go. Burroughs and maybe even Yannick Hansen. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, his his physical category is pretty good as well. Yeah, it might have to be Perici. Um I mean, like, I want to give him a chance and all, but it's just, eh. He's very... Uh, that red star, that four red star potential is very sketchy, and then 
uh, he's sort of stunted already and he's already 24 years old. Uh, I mean, I'd rather not trade him, but let's see what we can get for him. Um, or uh, let's at least try to trade Burroughs first. I want, I want to get his very so like a star penalty killer. I mean, not like a like a 90 overall type of like a uh, Patrice Bergeron type of player. Just a type of player you know you can rely on on the penalty kill. Oh yeah, uh, we still need to trade Higgins too because I sent him down for Berchi. So yeah, let's trade Higgins. Um, Kennens, were we trading him? No, he has the uh, he's the good physical category. Although I guess uh, too many people with a good physical category could hurt. I mean, we could trade Shinkarok too. We don't really. Eh, I I kind of I would rather trade um, Berchi than Shinkarok though. Berchi is two years older and has uh, lower potential. But uh, so Higgins and Burrows are gonna go first though. Colorado wants both of them. All right. Uh, all right. So maybe we can find. I'm hoping we can find a solid penalty killer here, like maybe John Mitchell. What's his? Eh. Uh, Jones. David Jones. No. I mean, would he be good for the power play? No. 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 He wouldn't be better than anyone we have now. Uh, Stoll. No. I mean, he'd be decent for the penalty kill, but maybe Blake Homo. Now, I'm looking for, like, that stud that we can just rely on for penalty kill no matter what. Uh, but we might not find it. We might have to use a trading block as well. Uh, Cody McLeod, no. I mean, he's good physically. We have we have plenty of those guys, though. We uh, We need guys who are good defensively. <laughs> Miko Rantanen. Uh oh god, look at this. He's not uh quite developed yet. Oh yeah. He's not uh he's not even at a four star potential in this game. Hmm. Interesting. Um Yeah, we're gonna have to use the trading block. Because... Uh, wait a minute, no, that just took me to the <laughs> trading block that I can't edit apparently. Alright, trading block. Uh Wants forward. Obviously, no one too old. We'll leave it at three star there. But I do want defensive category to be at least four and a half star. Physical category at least four and a half star. And overall, at least 77. All right, let's see. Of course. Only 85 and up, so... Boone Jenner, uh, nope. Horvat, already on our team. Whoops. Ryan O'Reilly, oh dear. Uh, Landis Gog and Tavares. Yeah, there's no way we're getting Tavares. I guess no one really has, uh, that thing we need, that, uh, defensive category we need. Uh, so I guess now let's, let's search for... Someone with a high shot and puck skills, uh, so that um, maybe we can improve the power play a bit. It's probably gonna be a ton of skaters like that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's go all the way down to the bottom. Let's see. Yeah, I want to see who has the least trade value and who has good uh, offensive stats. So maybe, uh, maybe Riley Smith. Kevin Hayes, uh, Charlie Coyle, uh, Anders Lee, we're getting up there in overall now, uh, Brett Ritchie, Yakupov, Yakupov might not be bad, although I kind of want someone with a passing rating, maybe Kadri, I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of want, like, someone really close to a 90 passing rating. Like, at least an 89. Uh, ooh, Andre Pilat. He's, yeah, he's up there in overall, though. And trade value as well. Let, let, let's see what they want for him. Um, but in order to get Pilat... 
we would have to trade. We'd have to trade Lindholm or Sutter, or uh, not Lindholm, Horvat or Sutter. Because uh, then that would take up uh, a roster spot. We kind of need Sutter though. He's our best two-way forward. About Horvat, uh, he's gonna be pretty good too. Uh, we just kind of need to get older, I think, is what it is with our younger guys. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Let's um, let's hold off for another year on the trade. I know I just wasted a whole lot of time doing that, but you know what? I, I, it's it's gonna be very difficult to make a trade, um, especially for uh, the good passer that we need and. I just don't feel like we would have a spot for Palat on our uh, roster once we traded for him, even if we didn't give up any of our top six, you know. So, um, yeah, let's just go into the trade deadline with nothing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, perfect. We end on uh, last game of the year. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, we're not going to make any trades. I just feel like we should give this roster a chance, you know, with the improved... Uh, overalls of Nichushkin and uh, hopefully Lindholm. Both of them are getting better. And uh, I mean, obviously Ryan Miller is getting old, but you know what? He uh, he's doing well for us, so we're not gonna, you know, force him off anywhere. I I feel like this team could really do something if they if we just had a better special teams. And I mean, we're already winning a lot of games. I mean, we're not the best team in the NHL, but we're not losing as much as we did last year. At least, uh, not at the moment. Uh, and hopefully that stays the same. So, you know, it's really tough to call, but it's looking like we're going to be in the playoffs. But I really think, you know, if the, if the boys put in some effort, you know, we'll be able to hopefully do some damage in the playoffs. And, and I like the mix that we have of veterans and rookies. Or, uh, well, not rookies, but young guys. Uh, so, like, you know, we have the Steens, uh, Edler, uh, Ryan Miller as our uh, veteran guys. And then rookies, we got Nachushkin. Or, again, not rookies, but you know what I mean. Nachushkin, Berchi. Uh, Lindholm, so all those guys, so hopefully that nice mix will be able to uh, do some damage in the playoffs. I mean, I know we're not obviously not the best team, and we may, I don't know, I mean, we're cutting it close. I, I want to see, I, I want to see three out of the four of these games right here wins, all right? Come on now, come on now. Oh, bad loss to Pittsburgh. Come on now. There you go. Went against Washington. I, want, I don't want to see another loss. I'm giving us maximum two more losses. Um, yeah, one more. Um, because, yeah, it's, it might be a tight race for the playoffs. We may actually not make it. I'm hoping we do, though, obviously. But, uh you know, anything could happen. It's the NHL, so there you go. Nice one against Calgary. Um, I'd really prefer if that was a regulation win, but uh, a win's a win. So we're at 92 points now. It's still kind of blurry for the playoffs, but hopefully we have a weak division. Um, we just got a loss there against the LA Kings. All right, come on now. San Jose, these are important games here. win, alright, we'll do the scouting assignment, and then we'll actually slow sim uh, this last game against San Jose, uh, defenseman, OHL, alright, so, last game of the season, first period, uh, Logan Couture, second period, <laughs> Merrick Zidlitsky, why is that FBZ, and third period, 4-1, uh, Zid is still in this game? Jeez. Just retire, buddy. I mean, <laughs> he's probably like a 77 overall now. Um, but anyway. Alright, let's check out 
the standings. And we're in the playoffs. Very nice. All right. <laughs> I was a bit worried there that we may have had a stronger division than, uh, than we do. But uh, we actually tied for second, I believe. So let's just simulate in the playoffs who we have. We have the Nashville Predators. All right. So let's uh, check out the season, final season stats. And we'll check out player progression as well. As well as team standings, and then we'll end off this video and uh, take it into the playoffs. So, uh, <laughs> highest point scorer on our team, Henrik Sedin, 66. And Shushkin, 64. So, that trade, uh, I think, really helped out. Uh, it not only helped out our future, but it helped now. Because uh, Natushkin is the second leading uh, point scorer on our team. I mean, that's not uh, very difficult to do at the moment, considering we're, our points are pretty spread out, but it's good. Uh, Lindholm with 52 points. And he's already up to an 87. Can you imagine if he grows again in the playoffs? He's going to be like a 90 overall overall next year. Here I am stuttering over my words. Uh, Zidane, the other Zidane, is 60 points, so not bad. Uh, he's a minus 18, though. Jesus Christ. What are you guys doing? Um, and then uh, Brennan Sutter. 52 points, Berchi and Horvat, both 46, Adler with 40, Erhoff, 33, Tanev, 19, here's where it starts to drop off, uh, yeah, alright, so goaltenders, alright, Miller sort of fell back down a little bit, but he's doing fine, I mean, I'm not expecting a huge playoffs out of him, he is getting older, but I'm hoping that veteran experience of his uh, really comes in handy. And actually, before uh, I forget, I'm going to turn on injuries for the playoffs. There you go. And rotate goalies off because we don't uh, want any random, uh, random game simulations happening there. Uh, and you guys know what can happen there sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Miller's down to an 85. That's not good. At least the Sedin twins didn't drop yet. Uh, so, let's actually, before we check everything else, let's check the Nashville Predators. Uh, Nashville, so there you go. Uh, Neil, Ribeiro, Forsberg, yeah, we're going to have a tough time with our top six, man. Maybe even the top nine. I mean, they're they're pretty deep, actually. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't put uh, Smith at the third line center or even second line center and switch with Fisher, and then put Downey on the third line wing. I don't know. They probably got uh, some going on there, or even uh, Yarncroc. However, it's pronounced. That's like one of the only names in the NHL. I don't know how to pronounce. Um, Yozy and Weber, uh, Jones and Ellis. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough team. And then Thomas Caberlet, apparently. And then uh, Rene and Mazenek, or whatever. Um, yeah, another name I can't pronounce. <laughs> uh, let's go to GM Tracker real quick. Okay, nothing really much to improve there. Uh, so, yep. Uh, oh, got to check team standings and progression. Right, right, right. Uh, so, we finished the season with <laughs> 26 in the league for goals for per game, not too good. Uh, goals against per game, middle of the pack, 2.8. Power play improved a little bit. We're at 19th at 19.3. Penalty kill didn't improve much, but we moved up the ranks. I mean, geez, what is it about penalty kill in this game? Do some teams just have a really... Like, is the defensive... Are defensive stats just really lower this year? Because... There's like, oh, that's like almost half the league that has under 80%, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, and let's check, uh, uh, let's, yeah, we need to do the playoff tree too. Jeez, making this video longer than it has to be. All right, so attributes, uh, yeah, Hemp slid home, grew, Brandon Pruss, Hansen and Thompson uh, decreased, Burroughs and Zadina, I would imagine, decreased as well. I mean, because you don't really hear of uh, older guys like that uh, uh, increasing too much. So, yeah. No one else, though. 
Let's check AHL. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, Haka grew once again. Uh, McCann, Volk, Curtis Volk, whatever his name is. Um, yeah, let's check out. Uh, oh, not a ward. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, playoff tree. So there you go. Uh, Edmonton versus St. Louis. L.A. and San Jose. Your Nashville Predators versus the Vancouver Canucks. Or, uh, no, jeez. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> Your Vancouver Canucks versus the Nashville Predators. I don't know why I thought we were the Nashville Predators. I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Um, and then the Minnesota Wild versus Chicago Blackhawks. And then in the East, we have the Detroit Red Wings versus the New York Rangers. The Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Florida Panthers, the Pittsburgh Penguins versus Columbus Blue Jackets, and the Washington Capitals versus the New York Islanders. So this looks pretty, uh, pretty interesting playoffs here. Uh, I guess that's it for this video, and uh, I will see you guys in the playoffs.